Um, I need to I need to write something unfunny here. Uh, what's unfunny? Uh, So that's going Where is my <coughs> Okay, um right. figured out what I was going to call this in the in the shower <coughs> and now I've forgotten oh yeah floating workspace visuals workspace floating visuals This is how I want to do it. There's a few different ways that I could set this up, but I think this is the easiest. I don't understand why that happens. I keep having that problem. What is this? Is this Visual Studio doing this? Uh, 
I have to play. Cancel out of it and then do that. Okay. Weird. Alright, co pilot, help me out here because this is really monotonous doing this bit. Actually, I don't really need anything here. What I need is. This should be public. Private. Draw. <coughs> oh, let's add a. doing? Visual Studio's like default snippets or whatever it does it seems to really interfere with Copilot sometimes. Why is this highlighted in a weird way now? <laughs> what is happening? Names I did namespace tab and then press what is that? It's not beef text, is it? Pause. No. Let's see if I could disable that. Snippets manager. This seems suspicious. this right. I don't think that's what's doing it Surely it's this, it's doing it. What is this even telling me? I can't like interact with this in any way. This is fucked up. Let's look it up. Um,
choose options. What? Completion. Where is it? That's it. Namespace tab. What is it doing? I just say namespace tab. Tab tab. It does this. Oh, I don't want that. How do I disable this shit? Snip it. The fuck is that? Sharp. <laughs> so this shouldn't make a difference. What is that? Where is the option to turn that off? So stupid. There we go, cool. Fucking hell, how stupid is that? Right, um... Feeling so productive right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> if you're wondering why I have this really stupid looking construct method here instead of actually using a constructor, it's because uh, GD native scripts cannot have constructors. <laughs> They can have constructors, but the constructors can't have arguments, and you cannot control at what point the constructor is actually called, because uh, you're not in control of the, um, the instantiation of the scripts. Most of the time. Okay. Right from hovering. This work. I don't know how I use this module. <coughs> I think I have this. Okay. Don't really need that though. But yeah, I do. <coughs> no, uh, I'll just pass it in here. Wait, how does this work? Of hovering. Surely. If there's a... I hate that- Why are you wow? Sometimes Copilot will come up with the right suggestion, but then I'll press one more key and then it will disappear. What is that? <laughs> Fuck you. What are you trying to do? Uh, so worth the money.
Go on. You can, you got this, co-pilot. Do it. I don't want to type all that. Come on. <laughs> what is? Oh. Yeah, good, good job. It's still best typing to just accept the wrong suggestion and then edit out the wrong bit. Um. <coughs> okay. Show target size indicator. done this somewhere. Here. Target. That's how I do it. Okay. Oh, it's because maybe because I haven't got this header. why it's failing me so much. No, that's wrong. How do I do it? Picture size, target size. Whatever. Get size target, is that right? Yes. type. Yes, exactly. is being published actually.
otherwise it has like really low resolution. Um, right. So I want to draw this thing, but with the visual sheet server instead. <coughs> this is two pixels high apparently. And one pixel up. Arrow, arrow up nine by five. much simpler now. Oh, I also need very important this. This line. guess. Um, 
lime color. It's just white, right? There's no transparency. Okay, that's the line. And then the arrow sits underneath. Let's have a let's peer at these. <laughs> Minus 4.5 Okay How does it know? This minus four that it put in is correct. Pretty sure. It's good, it's the end, minus four. Sometimes Copilot is just really spooky. I don't understand how it's figured that out. How did it know it was minus four? The only information it has, because it's not looking in the, in the Godot scene files, it's looking in the C, it's only looking in the C++ files. Um, and I said, target size indicator arrow nine by five. And a half of nine rounded down is four. <laughs> I think that's what it's done and it's correct. Pretty spooky. So it's two pixels down. Um, yeah, block bottom. Four is not correct here. I want plus two according to this. Okay, size width. right texture Get 
rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this empty directory. Oh, set color. Oh yeah, it does have a color, yeah, yeah. <coughs> That's fine. Let's get rid of this. There's nothing else I'm missing in here, right? It's just the color. So... Eco. to do is make sure I call it update on this anytime it changes. So that would be hovering is a badly named function but anyway it's fine um space floating visuals update So I want to do this when, when, here, I guess. find the build errors.
anything obviously wrong about this. Oh, I know what I haven't done. I haven't caught this function yet. Uh, <coughs> Where do I do that? I guess I do it here. And this big call function. This is rapidly becoming the worst source file in the project. No, that's, that's an exaggeration. I'm sure there's worse in other places. Alright, so this doesn't actually uh, exist yet. Or is it because... Oh no. It might exist. Um, nope. <clears throat> Let's put it in here, I guess. It's not a control. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Right. Um, so the area of the workspace container is from here, like the bottom of the map, to here. So 
of that offset from the top of the windows being added on uh, and also that I'm not uh, I'm not uh, what am I supposed to do here I need to actually calculate the correct Do it as an immediately invoke lambda, do you? Yeah, sure, why not? No, I, I know exactly why not. Same reason I don't want to have it in a function. So this should be... Oh, actually, I want the width, not the end. Uh, target width. So that's basically the screen. Let's just call it width.
Um... Border is appearing in front of it. Which is fine. Maybe it should appear below that border. But I think I recently made that border thicker. Let's move it down a few pixels. Plus one. Plus four.
seems good. And it's nowhere near as finicky as it was before either. It seems completely consistent now. It's, it's appearing and disappearing at exactly the right time. Here's a bit of initial problems there. What happened there? I'll have to investigate that one. To me, um, I should probably like come out all of this work that I've been doing. This is a fat come out. <sighs> this is like a million things that I've done. Um, back to the block overlay and target. Size indicator. that thing that I meant